Many miles away from home Steps were difficult I'm exhausted But I did not fall I hope Something good is coming up Free like a bird but also bound up And my footsteps on the ground I raise my head Listen to the sound I'm happy with what I have found Just free This is the NRG Tornado, a gaming computer from 2008, originally sold for 3300 Australian dollars. I found this on the Facebook marketplace for just 50. The spec sheet is more than impressive for the day. It features a Core 2 Duo E8400 and came clocked at 4 GHz by the system builders. The motherboard is an EVGA 780i capable of 3-way SLI. Speaking of which, there are two graphics cards in this build two 9800 GTX is an SLI, two gigs of DDR2 RAM, and two 500 gig hard drives in RAID 0, which have disappeared from this build. The seller said no refunds on his ad, so I'm assuming something's not quite right, so let's find out what. So after all that, the computer wouldn't even post. I was so excited at this point. So the next step was to get it out of the case, set it up on a motherboard box and see if we'd start troubleshooting this issue. Where should I go from here? I need a good advice. The earth is waiting for me at sunrise. I'm in the prison. So once I got the computer breadboarded, I was pleasantly surprised to find an LED diagnosis screen. It was throwing error C1. So when I looked on the manual online, it seemed to point to a memory issue. I tried running it with one stick of memory, tried both sticks and neither would work. After that, I swapped to some known working good memory and hey presto. It was awesome seeing the old girl make it through post, but it was not time for a celebration as we were not out of the woods just quite yet. Next up, I had to actually get windows on the thing. Installing windows was a lot harder than it was supposed to be. The system kept hanging during the pre-installation process Something I managed to fix by disabling the floppy disk in the BIOS. Now I knew we were actually capable of installing Windows, I decided to give the computer a bit of a clean up because it was rather filthy.
I've got the NRG Tornado up and running, restored, and looking great. We still got a little bit more work on the restoration. I definitely want to get some new fans for it and probably get an SSD for the Windows install as this Western Digital Green is absolutely atrocious to run as a main drive. In my next video, we're going to be going on a journey through gaming, starting off from 2008 to see what the NRG Tornado was capable of when it was first built. Thanks for joining me on this adventure guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video.